Hello, and welcome to the Scholarly Communications video series from the Himmelfarb Health Sciences Library. My name is Ruth Beter, and I am the Serials Librarian at Himmelfarb Library. This brief tutorial will provide an overview of Cabell's Journalytics. Let's get started. Journalytics is a tool that researchers and authors can use to discover journals in which to publish their manuscripts. The information provided in Journalytics will help you evaluate and compare journals to help you decide which journal is appropriate for your research. You'll find publication information, including how frequently the journal is published, the disciplines covered, the intended audience, and a brief description of the journal. Each journal record also includes submission guidelines, including submission methods, acceptance rate, manuscript guidelines, and style guidelines. Peer review information is also available, including the type of peer review provided, the typical length of the review period, the number of reviewers, and the time to publication. Metrics, including Cabell's Classification Index, SCI Index, and Altmetrics are provided. The editor's contact information is also provided, along with links to journal websites and manuscript submission portals. Let's take a look at Journalytics and see it in action. To get to Journalytics, start at the Himmelfarb Library homepage, himmelfarb.gwu.edu. From here, click on the All Databases link under the Popular Resources area on the left side of the page. This will bring you to our alphabetical list of databases. Click on C at the top of this list. The first title on the list is Cabell's Directory of Publishing Opportunities. Click on the hyperlink to open the resource. Once you're on the Cabell's Journalytics page, you can search for journals on the search bar at the top of the screen. I'm going to search for the American Journal of Public Health. As you can see, we can see a brief overview of the information available for this title just from this box provided. In addition to the journal title, we can also see that this journal is published by the American Public Health Association. This journal is published monthly and has gold open access options available. We can also see that the journal's essay index is 0 0.847 and the altmetric report is 35. For additional details about this title, simply click on the journal title to expand the information below. In the About tab, you'll see the discipline, the intended audience, and the frequency of issue or publication of the journal. ISSNs and journal launch date as well as the brief description of the journal are also included. Scrolling down to the submission area of the page, you'll see the method of publication. This journal is published on the web. Invited articles indicate the percentage of articles that are specifically requested by this journal. In this case, 0 to 5%. This journal's acceptance rate is 22%. To see the manuscript guidelines for the title, click on the View Guidelines link. The review area provides an overview of the journal's peer review practices. This journal uses a blind peer review process that typically takes two to three months to complete. Comments are provided by the three external reviewers. The typical time from submission to publication is six to nine months. Articles are put through a plagiarism screening process prior to publication. Scrolling back up, you can click on the metrics tab and review the different metrics available for this journal. You can also click on the Contact tab to view contact information for the journal's editorial staff. You can also compare journals using Journalytics. In the search bar at the top of the screen, I'm going to search for nursing journals. By hovering over a journal, you can select Compare for up to five journals. I'm going to select AACN Advanced Critical Care, AANA Journal, and Advanced Emergency Nursing Journal. Once you've selected the journals you'd like to compare, scroll back up to the top of the page and click Compare. A pop-up will appear with a side-by-side -side comparison of the journals selected. Thank you for taking the time to listen to this brief overview of Cabell's Journalytics. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please visit our video library. If you have any questions about the material covered in this session, 
or if you have questions about your own research, don't hesitate to contact me at rbueter at gwu.edu. On behalf of the Himmelfarb Library Scholarly Communications Team, thank you for listening.